5.43 here on a Friday morning. Alex, have you confirmed your Valentine's Day plans yet? Because mm. if not, you have to act fast. Valentine's Day, Alex, is on Sunday. Yeah, definitely with reservations right now, too. And social distancing is forcing singles to think outside the box. Bianca Holman shares how to make the most of it. Got an empty seat next to you? This is for all my singles and those in long distance relationships. Grab something with bubbles, some chocolate, and your computer. This is Valentine's Day COVID style. To swipe left or swipe right, that's a big choice for people looking for Bay on a dating app. Match Group, the parent company for 45 dating brands, including Tinder and Hinge, reported a 15% increase in August of 2020 downloads and subscribers from pre COVID 2019 levels. We spoke with Amy Lettingham, the dating coach, about the difference of virtual dates now compared to just a year ago. New people are actually willing to try it. They're not so, it's not so taboo to do online dating anymore. Social distancing restrictions can make it harder to evolve a connection built online, but it gives you time to understand your crush's character and weed out the pin pals. If somebody's on there for weeks and weeks and they're not trying to move it to a telephone call or even a video date, or even asking to meet in person. That's a red flag. Here are a few virtual date ideas. What's more romantic than a museum tour? The Smithsonian's Natural History has a guided walkthrough experience. You can go classic with a virtual dinner and concert. Many of your favorite artists have performances on streaming platforms. And tap into your inner child and play an online game of Clue or Battleship with your sweetie pie. One of the things that I've been hearing from the singles I work with is they do love the Zoom date. It almost saves them a drive. It saves them dinner. It saves them getting all done up and then feeling like, oh crap, you know, this didn't work out. While dating has become more efficient, Lettingham says people still crave human connection and the future of love and romance looks bright. People are taking dating more seriously. I actually think it, we're going back to the old fashioned ways, which I don't have a problem with at all. And if you plan to meet in person, Lettingham says keep safety at the top of mind and meet in a public place. Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.